Hi all, welcome to Vision Board community. So every success, there is a hard work also there. There is a, some community also there. Some uh, sleepless nights are there. So today I want to invite to Kamal. So Kamal will give you some important interview tips and what are the steps he followed to cracking the interviews and all. So that's why I'm inviting to Kamal. Kamal, are you there? Yeah, yes, Devi. Yeah, Kamal, welcome to the community podcast. So, uh, can you give some insight? Like, if people are struggling from different field, right? So, what are the steps you followed? I know there are a lot of hard work uh, behind the success and all, but what are the things you followed, and uh, what you what you think like this is efficient method? Yeah, sure, Devi. Um, basically, the main problem regarding everyone faces. Uh, relevant experience uh, in uh, data engineering even uh, i too face the same issue since uh -huh. i initially worked in uh, tech support okay. and then moved to a like as in a, a management or a pro production support management uh, in uh, etl pipeline and database oh, okay okay that helped me in uh, giving a like a relevant experience in managing an interview Mm -hmm. um, initially, for the tech support experience, I basically converted my current experience to the previous one. Mm -hmm. uh, I said, like, uh, I managed my in my initial experience, I managed ETL pipelines and gave production support. And my current experience, I gave as a, as a for around two years. I just uh, said as I, I was a Azure Data Engineer. Mm -hmm. Then the okay. question arose was uh, regarding the oh. project architecture. Uh -huh. I initially kept it simple. Since I don't have any relevant experience as a Azure data engineer, I kept it as simple. I only managed a batch processing. I, I didn't go to any streamlined uh, pipelines uh, since to avoid questions for the follow-up questions. Excellent. Like I kept it basically uh, like uh, the basic architecture. Uh, we ingested only, we even I kept data sources as basic. Like uh, I got two data sources like SFTP for multiple files and then for SQL Server. Uh, those are the data sources which I uh, said in my project architecture explanation. And then I said I used Azure Data Factory for just for ingestion and orchestration purpose. And then we used uh, Databricks for the uh, transformation, uh, the Medillion architecture implementation, and then uh, um, simple uh, uh, visualization for Power BI from SQL Server, Azure SQL Server data for end of day sales and inventory detail. I didn't okay. go to any complex uh, details. It's just the pi uh, we ran pipeline for one time. Mm -hmm. And then the it was all about end of day inventory and sales. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, interview for interview preparation, uh, uh, mainly for a project architecture, I, overall idea, I came up with this one. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, uh, yeah. Any issues you faced from it, like a, because you already know you had like a, you are moving from supporting background to Azure Data. Yeah. Definitely you will yeah. face a lot of challenges, right? Yeah. This is not easy one. Yeah. Um, any issues since uh, I'm on ETL support, it was kind of overall, I'm familiar with uh, how uh, ETL process will performed in uh, real time. So mm -hmm. there was uh, not any in it, on an interview basis, uh, there was nothing uh, tough. Only the follow-up questions maybe uh, we should manage. If not, there is anything uh, tough. Uh, okay. Real-time, it's completely different. Uh, on For interview purpose, they for first round, we can definitely clear. Mm. Uh, they, will, they don't go up with any follow-up questions for the project architecture. Only on maybe in second round. Uh, mm -hmm. In some cases, the second round, the interview will be conducted by, instead of a manager data engineering, it, it will be converted by, conducted by a delivery. Head. Uh -huh. So it will be completely different. They don't uh -huh. go into the technical basis. They only want uh, the performance ones. So mm -hmm. I cracked initially the interview one, which cracked was uh, handled, the second round was handled by delivery, head, not by mm -hmm. any data engineering manager. Okay. So it was pretty easy to me, crack the first one. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, that kind of situation also, like a delivery, yeah, manager, delivery like a yeah. manager kind of thing. Yeah, there'll yeah, be like yeah. optimization. There's no coding. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they don't go deeply into the follow up questions. They only want the business aspect. What you um, what what role you played, which improved the business aspect. Mm, okay, got it. And uh, one more question, I just want to ask you. Like, for example, when you 
preparing the initial stage right so definitely you need to take some certifications and uh, then because you need to be pro you are coming from that kind of supporting yeah, yeah. this development role so what are the certification you think like your resume should be shortlisting uh if you are looking for azure data engineer role definitely the one the i mean uh, the dp203 something uh, like the azure data engineer uh, role right uh, that's that will be helpful definitely if not uh, the data bricks part developer mm. that one will be good too mm. okay okay since i was attending a yeah, interview on a short time i couldn't able to complete any certification okay okay great so i think like in the people are telling me like at least we need to complete the certification they are getting like an interview calls very easily that's why i'm just asking yeah for uh, selection process yes certification definitely help once ah. you move towards a interview uh, it's just add on yeah, ah. it totally depends on the candidate um yes and uh, one more question like uh, you have less than 4 years of experience right yeah. how yeah. how is the market actually so what yeah. is the thing you did for landing into your job like an or, like an offer mm -hmm. letter because i can get like a one concern people are not getting uh, sometime not getting the calls less than 4 years or 3 years of experience so any tricks or tips you applied for moving these kind of situations and all yeah uh, maybe there can be two reasons one is uh, are there any job openings for less than 4 years if not what is the notice period um, oh. when you are trying to attend interview i will always suggest go to immediate to uh, 15 days in the initial stage if you are, if you believe you could able to attend the interview then uh, select the notice period as uh, immediate to 15 days and start giving the interviews for like uh, don't go for your dream company instead go for like a contract basis or uh, some companies which you bound to ignore definitely even if i get the offer i will not join this company in that case you can attend the initial interviews you can attend those kind of companies and practice and then move towards company uh, like a mid size or the one which you really want to join mm. okay um, yeah you can gain confidence at least from the companies uh, you can get the offer and then drop the papers in your current company and then start attending uh, interviews for your uh, dream ones uh, so the previous ones could be just a backup mm -hmm. got got it so that is a really nice tip actually kamal so that will help you to uh, like yeah, an yeah, yeah. attending yeah, like yeah. a dream company we can crack yeah. the offer at crack the same offer. time yeah 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 definitely if no so if you start attending initially the company which you want to join without any mock interview or a, a, um, a practice interviews definitely it will be tough it will be tough exactly that's why i'm asking like because people are struggling to coming from different fields and all definitely you will also face some rejection right yeah, when yeah, you yeah. like the initial stage so uh, one more thought i'm just telling like so from the like a supporting role or like a etl kind of role mm. uh, where you get the spark like you can move into the azure data engineering and uh, uh, you think like okay this is really will shape my career why you think like that yeah mainly uh, in a support environment it will involve uh, work timings then uh, uh, um, like as in uh, shift right shift. yeah 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 shift is mandatory in uh, you know, support environment um, oh, okay. there and will be multiple pipeline failures uh, oh. it will be kind of uh, hectic and then um, there will be kind of a buffer period for the dev team to handle something you know? okay in case of a pipeline failure the ops team will have to monitor it regularly so i wanted to switch to this kind of environment Mm okay so that will be uh, like a leading to a stress thing right yeah yeah, yeah sure definitely yeah. yeah and any kind of growth you can get like a last 3 or 4 years um yeah. in support yes in support so that is the one more intention right we are yeah 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 yeah, yeah. uh in support uh, the kind of growth mainly it will be oriented to client perspective oh okay you will be uh, detached from the ops team which handle the monitoring and the regular ones you will be slightly moving towards the client okay mm -hmm. not like a direct technical hierarchical growth in case of uh, uh, take more technical role mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. you will be slightly moving towards that client side okay okay that is also one more issue right like yeah that. yeah if someone wants to grow their career just based on technical perspective mm-hmm. um but it is like an uh, like an easy one so i think it will take some time definitely the transition will take because i am getting lot of queries and all is it possible or not yeah because definitely my- possible from support to yeah should it change it's definitely possible hmm. how many months you took like a kamal for the transition when you getting a spark yeah, and how spark. many months you took for like a hard working kind of thing yeah yeah since uh, we have to you know at least get a overview of there are multiple tools right even uh, mm. uh, let's say initially uh, when i started I, i didn't even start with azure cloud uh, mm. i started just started with spark kind of thing spark okay that spark is also vast right yeah 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 it was vast so to make it simple then only i could able there will there is a cloud service everything will yeah. be uh, managed in a cloud platform so then yeah. only i moved to azure it definitely azure. will yeah, yeah definitely it will take around 6 months solid uh, yeah. exactly uh, like yeah. normally people the period will be 3 to 6 months because yeah, yeah, definitely people will not know about like uh, which one data engineering is there data science is yeah, there yeah, right? yeah, yeah. confusion yeah. will be happen yeah. yes but uh, i also think like when the transition happen cloud data engineering is a good part So you yeah. are the best example. The transition will happen with the with the higher package. Also, yeah. we can achieve right. We can secure our time. That is really good. And uh, one more thing, last question. Like, what are the like an any kind of suggestions or any kind of um, things you can give to the to the data community who are really suffering for this kind of very low package, and uh, they want to be like a very good career aspiration. What are the Uh, any kind of suggestion something you can give to the community it will be helpful yeah uh, definitely if you are planning to switch from a different role to something which you actually want uh, initially they have to give it some time they don't mm-hmm. want to i know i decided today uh, in two months i will be able to join in that case uh, some could be able to definitely achieve those goals uh, mm-hmm. but most of them will it will be kind of a disappointment to them exactly they, yeah then they will revert back to the previous one okay they even switch to the relevant experience so for package they will go to their previous mm-hmm. relevant experience and switch to instead of going to what they actually want so definitely in case of azure uh, i mean if they want to become azure data engineer definitely they should give some gap and uh, um for particular period they should just uh, allocate the time to understand just the concept instead of any interview perspective just leave that they just uh, should just understand what is what actually you know mm-hmm. how it works how everything every tool works what uh, for what purpose is each is individually used that kind of thing and once they uh, understand the concepts average it's enough not they what they don't want to in, um, know the concepts end to end just mm-hmm. uh, you um, let's say if uh, area listen to what is used for what uh, how it can be efficiently used that is enough uh, then they should uh, focus entirely on interview perspective yes. if say yeah they should prepare what the project architecture they should uh, say in interview and then uh, in let's say if uh, mainly if i prepared for spark in interviews mm-hmm. everything was uh, oriented to employee and department like a ranking uh. and then uh, every interview attendant it's based already circling towards these three questions questions exactly in the same format if you uh-huh. want to for you have to allocate a you know huge amount of time just for interview preparation mm. okay okay great yeah i think uh, people will get an idea about how to make a transition kamal anyway thank you for your time thank you for your yeah, sure. yeah. time and all okay yeah so i am yeah. all the best to your future offer letters and all so we can expect lot of good things happen in your life <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Sure. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for your time and support. Yeah. Yes. Thank you.